In March of 2020, there were 2.5 billion people. One third of the world's total human population was on lockdown for COVID. And lately I've been asking people what they learned during that terrible time. And I've been hearing answers that are pretty connected with one another. For so many years, doctors have told us that human beings need water and food and shelter. We need to be warm enough. But we also just equally as much need to be with each other. We need to be connected with other people. So loneliness is a, a huge issue for us in our society. More people live alone today uh, in our society than at any other time in the world's history. And there's also a, a severe um, sense of loneliness among people who actually do live with other people. And loneliness is that subjective feeling of not being connected in the way that we desire to be connected. And it's a huge issue for us. It leads to issues, problems with depression and anxiety. It leads to problems with drug and alcohol abuse. Um, so many of the problems around our society um, find their basis in loneliness, which is a, a spiritual sickness. The philosopher Immanuel Kant wrote at great length about this. He said that we are unsociable, sociable creatures. So on the one hand, we long to be with others. On the other hand, we don't want to be dominated or controlled by them. We don't want to lose ourselves in them. He makes a big distinction between things that have dignity and things that have a price. Um, price is easy to understand. Everything is interchangeable. I can give you um, two chairs for one couch or two $50 bills for $100 bill. But human beings don't operate in that world of, of price. Human beings live and exist in the world of dignity. Each one of us is entirely unique, utterly unique in all of history. And each of us has a value. And that's why it's so important for us to do something about loneliness. During the um, September 11th, 2001, one of my dearest friends from when I first graduated from college um, died in one of the airplanes that crashed into the World Trade Center. Uh, and as the flames were engulfing that building, there were thousands and thousands of people who were fleeing further south in Manhattan. And they were coming to the, to the, to the, um, the shores of the, the river there, the, the, um, and they, they were thousands and thousands of people there. And the Coast Guard did something that they'd never done before. They actually asked all people who could captain a boat to come across and help rescue those people. And so more people were rescued on that day, more people were evacuated than any other boat evacuation in the history of the world. More people were taken off of Manhattan Island, 500,000 people, than were even evacuated from Dunkirk in World War II. One of my favorite stories about that is a ship captain, his wife said, well, why would you ever go into the flame and the smoke um, and, and take your boat from a safe harbor through, through, that, terrible, through that, that terrible place to, to save people. And he said that he, think, he, he thought that he should not go through life having regrets for what he should have done. In many ways, the, the smoke and the fire around us is so clear and so obvious. It's hard to reach out to people who are lonely, especially when we're lonely ourselves. But in order to break the cycle of that catch-22 of wanting to be with others, um, but being isolated from others, we need to reach out to one another. We need to be like captains of those boats and going to rescue the people who are around us. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching more good news.